Stan Jubilisco here from a nebula in an unknown galaxy in an unknown cluster of galaxies in an unknown universe in an unknown set of universes in an unknown thought kingdom. But there are certain things that are known in the thought kingdom back here on Earth. I'd like to show you a couple of them. They have to do with magnetic lines of flux. Now, magnetic lines of flux are imaginary lines. They're not real. They simply serve as a mathematical or geometrical indicator of the nature of a magnetic field around various sorts of objects that produce magnetic fields, such as a bar magnet shown here. The lines of flux have a characteristic shape around a bar magnet and you can see that very well illustrated right here. Magnetic fields are also produced by current carrying wires. So let's suppose that we have a wire here that carries an electric current. It's a straight wire. Magnetic lines of flux actually exist. The, the magnetic flux exists as cylinders sort of around here. This is a dimensionally reduced drawing, but the magnetic lines of flux around any point on that wire are all circles that lie in the same plane perpendicular to the wire and all centered at that point where this little arrow is right here. We can actually determine the direction of magnetic flux by considering something called conventional current. That is current that flows from plus to minus. Now why they call that conventional when a lot of people have never even heard of it is something beyond me. It's a, it's a historical artifact. But <clears throat> conventional current is what physicists generally use and a lot of laws of electricity and physics and electronics are based on that. Electrons in a wire flow exactly opposite from conventional current. So here, the electrons would actually be flowing straight away from you, straight into the page, through the wire axis point shown here, and out the back of the page. And here again are those circular magnetic lines of flux around the wire, just seen from a little different angle. Uh, again, conventional current flowing toward you, but electrons flowing away from you. The direction of the magnetic flux is counterclockwise when the conventional current flows towards you. Uh, it's, uh, they also can use something called the right hand rule. If you place your right hand so that your thumb points at you, your thumb represents the conventional current flow. You curl your fingers and the direction in which your fingers curl is the direction of the magnetic flux flow. Not that it really matters and one can debate whether magnetic flux really flows or not, but those are the two most common examples given for a magnetic flux. A bar magnet like this with a north pole and a south pole and a straight wire like that. The behavior of which can be defined by something called Ampere's Law. Ampere's Law. It's covered in several of my books including Electricity Demystified, Teach Yourself Electricity and Electronics, and probably a couple of others. Maybe uh, I've forgotten what they are. I've forgotten everything. Even the name of that nebula around that star in that galaxy, in that cluster of galaxies, in that universe, in that set of universes, in that thought kingdom. I'm too lazy to name them, and it really doesn't matter what you call it. There aren't any planets around it. It's way too hot for any life to exist. Except maybe forms we don't know about, but of course, 
the more you know, the more you realize that you know less and less and less. And such is life here, too. The more books you read by me, the stupider and stupider and stupider you'll get. Stan Jibalisco signing off from the black holes of Dakota Toratari. Well, I told you I was from here first, didn't I? And now I'm in the black holes of Dakota Territory. They call that instant teleportation something that uh, I do know a little bit of, a little bit about. But I'll never tell. Stan Jibalisco signing off. Until next time, so long.